Now it seems like NBA 2K24 will not be a rim running game for most. My queen came out with some devastating news for the rim running community. <laughs> and let me know what y'all think, man. Let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi. So you're done, no. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked dead mean with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out there, some people like the video. Definitely help the channel out, cause you know everybody gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. I know you gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Bruce Squad. Anyone y'all got the notification bell unlocked? Come to the comment section and type first, second, third. Know they get a Bruce Squad. Gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, Mike Wayne apparently was up and couldn't sleep, and he made this post right here some devastating news to the rim running community. And I ain't gonna front with y'all when I saw this. The first thing that popped into my mind was, why did you remove Quick Drop Off 1? Because we all know by now that the only reason Quick Drop Off 1 was so overpowered was because of Limitless take off that badge right there broke a lot of dunk packages and my queen tweeted this out saying since some have acts limitless takeoff is out of the game now this is not bad news in fact i welcome it again the question that i have is since now you took out the badge that really triggered the overpowered animations why did you remove the dunk package and let me know what y'all think about that simple question right there now of course we're about to go around and see what the community is thinking it seems like it's overwhelming right now swante tweeted this out he said do this to fades i ain't gonna lie fades in nba 2k 23 crazy but Everyone decided to leave it alone as a topic this year. It was crazy. But anyways, let's continue on. Fame said limitless takeoff gone. Quick drops gone. And he put the crying in happiness emoji like he achieved something big. Juice said yes, sir, with this gift right here. So it's overwhelming. Power DF actually put out a poll. And he had like 1,829 votes. And 66.4% said yes, while 19.2% said no. And of course, 14.4% just want to see the results like myself. Brother Jones decided to snitch and said fix bully next as well. <laughs> so, bro, why are you snitching on bully, bro? I ain't gonna lie, I never see the big benefits in bully because you could bully someone and someone else coming there swatted out of the air. Or even sometimes the people that you bully could snap out the animation and block it. But let me know what you all think about that. Grinding actually tweeted South say Mike Wayne from the top ropes. I guess that below there, he, that's a rim runner. I parking Carter actually tweeted out sheesh. Not a lot of responses that's against it. Even Chrissy T tweeted South saying it's finally here. All right. So that's the overwhelming response that this is great. And a lot of people is celebrating at this point. But my one question is, why did they remove the quick drop off one when he was planning on removing the limitless takeoff? That's my one question. And let me know if you all think that this is a good thing and a good move. Or where do you all stand on this decision again? No more limitless takeoff good for me now i could definitely stand out as a rim runner and y'all think y'all gonna stop rim running y'all think y'all could stop rim running rim running was around before limitless takeoff a lot of y'all new to this rim running thing that's why y'all think that made it so effective but it's not y'all gonna see brood out there <laughs> now it's crazy this is a complete 180 from what 
their focus was on in NBA 2K23. Remember, NBA 2K23 is when they decide to make dunking way more effective, when they decide to make cutbacks harder to block and stuff like that. And I was one of them saying, yo, y'all sure y'all want to go that direction to actually make a lot of these high risk dunks more successful. And now they seem like they're making a turn of making it harder for people to finish around the rim. But we're going to see where it, how this game turns out in the long run. Of course, I'm excited for 2K24. And now no one will have excuses when people are dunking all over their heads. But at least this should actually remove a lot of the glitchy dunk animation, the cheesy dunk animations that everyone in the 2K community abuse. We know that. We know that. But it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what it is. Your boy saying first time to the channel, like, share, subscribe. Hope that's one. Till next time, be safe out there, y'all. Peace.